Engineer 775 here, uh, continuing the All About Well series, and I wanted to talk to you about uh, putting in a submersible pump at the bottom of your hand pump. And uh, a lot of the hand pump cylinders are very, are pretty much the same, uh, whether it's an old windmill cylinder or a simple pump cylinder, which is what this is, or a homemade uh, slap shot. There's a bunch of different, they're basically the same thing. They have a, a, a check valve at this end, and there's a piston that travels up and down that has uh, uh, gaskets and a check valve in there as well. So um, typically you'll see uh, mostly the lift pump configuration of these uh, cylinders. But what I wanted to do is add a solar submersible to the bottom of my hand pump. And so that's what I've done here. And in order to do that, one of the there's many ways to do it, but this is the way I chose to do it, is to at the bottom of the um, cylinder, I've added a well, it's Teflon taped up, but basically welded a, a stainless steel nipple to the bottom of that check valve, um, allowing me to thread on a T, and you see the elbow and another check valve. I just put a swing check on here. You could put a foot valve, whatever you want. What this allows the water when you're hand pumping is to travel up through here and into into the pump and then lift it as you normally would. But what this also does is when you have your solar pump running, a solar submersible pump, and you want to pump water up through the same delivery system, this when this pump comes on, it'll push the water up through the uh, the drop pipe and continue on, and it'll go buy the, the sucker rods and deliver all the way to your final destination. So that is an option. I'm going to be putting a different solar pump at the bottom. I just wanted to show you how uh, you can do this. A lot of different ways to build this. You could build it all in line. I might do that later. But this was the easiest, quickest way to do this. What this allows me to do in a six inch well is put a solar submersible, a hand pump, um, I can actually even put a uh, gear motor pump on the top of the simple pump when I'm going to do that 24 volt motor up there so I can have a backup there where the sucker rods will be operated by a gear motor that will be it will be attached to the sucker rod so I'll be able to pump water uh, from a solar gear motor on top of the well a solar motor at, in, in the well and then I always still can last ditch, uh, if everything fails solar wise, I can still put the handle on and pump water, delivering it through uh, this bypass. So I just wanted to show you that as a way to uh, do things in line. This is nothing new. They've done this in the windmill industry for a long time. Just wanted to show you how I'm doing it. Um, so my goal is, let me just tell you what I'm up to. I'll come over here to my well. I've got a solar submersible in here now. This is just a temporary rig. Um, it's pumping. What I'm going to do, you can hear it growling right now. The solar is not on my panel, which is down there. But what I'm going to end up doing is putting a um, simple pump in here with this motor that you hear growling right now. Or growling. Um, it's going to be installed normally but it's going to have this um, um, submersible pump screwed to the bottom of my gadget I just showed you and then I'm going to put in a standard uh, solar submersible in this port so we're going to have two two different pumping systems sharing the same well they'll both fit it's six six inch, actually this is six and a quarter ID and I'll put both of them in together I'm going to put the solar submersible standalone deeper I'll put that in first and then I'm going to put down the gizmo I just showed you so what we'll have will be believe it or not three solar pumps and one hand pump on one well and I'm going to run all the wires and low sensors uh, float sensors and everything through this inch it's a one inch wire port I'm going to redo this so I have plenty of room to run um, Two sets of, it'll be actually three sets of wires when I'm done will be coming through this port. So, four pumps <laughs> in one well, all running off of solar. Um, except for the fourth being the hand pump, well, it should be running off of me. Alright, I hope that's not too confusing. I just want to give you some options 
to have backups to your backups and uh, again I find the solar uh, water pumping to be one of the most efficient uses um, and I'm going to show you some different controllers I'm going to put in a pump that has a built-in controller a pump that has a separate controller and then a gear motor pump with a linear current booster so there's going to be four different solar water pumping technologies installed on this well and that should cover just about any well I wouldn't say that but it'll cover most any option that you're looking at now uh, again you can contact me PM me if you're interested in any of these because um, I do design these systems and can uh, help you with yours so anyway thanks for watching and again this is standard commercial well uh, it's a 300 foot deep well static water level at 25 producing six and a, 16 and a half gallons a minute so even with all those pumps in there I will not out pump the capacity of the, of the well okay all right uh, and if you have questions on how to build this or well it's pretty obvious how to build it but there are different ways to do this and uh, one of the ways I'm going to do it next I'm going to try to do it is in line I want to keep my profile low this is three inch diameter and obviously I'm extending beyond this I could do a, a close nipple here and uh, I'll work on that but I want to basically build a cylinder here with a check valve inside it and a port off to the side and uh, anyway if you've seen anything like that let me know um, alright that's enough on this contraption I just wanted to show you some of these things before they go in the water and then you wouldn't have any idea what I'm doing alright engineer 775 signing off thanks for watching